What is up everybody? It's Mr. Energy here. Today we are back once again with another episode of Minecraft. Now, the first thing I wanted to show you guys is what I've been working on while I was off. And this is actually about a process of, t of three days worth of stuff. Um, which is kind of why my videos have been lacking because I've kind of been struggling to get this particular video done. So hopefully this works out right and I don't have to have nothing to show for. Okay, so first off... As you can see right here, I duplicated this thing, and I added that little thing in the back. Oh, let's see if I can actually show you it. Um, that counts to, uh, it counts every time that this one here gets to zero. And every time it gets to zero, it then adds one to the next one over here. Works, which works out really well. So um, I can count all the way to 99 now, which is, uh, I guess, my official first uh, counter. Uh, officially. I was going to make it uh, two digits originally, but unfortunately it kind of has this uh, effect of being really, really far apart. And from a distance it doesn't look that bad, but up close it's kind of like, oh, it's really far apart. So, I don't know if I can fix that or do anything to that, but that may be at a future date I figure something out like that. But today's episode is this thing. And as you guys can probably tell over here, it looks kind of pretty, so let's see what this is, and I will show you, I'll, I'll just basically walk you through what this is. This, if I can get my stone slabs, because I wasn't quite finished with it, this is a cobblestone generator. Actually, technically it's a stone generator, but um, it then turns into cobblestone. And I know that sounds stupid, why on earth would you turn stone into cobblestone? Well, this because it's fully automated, and... This has taken a lot of thinking, as I said, it's been three days, and mainly it's been working on this device here. But I'm doing this right here so that I don't actually catch myself on fire, because one of my biggest issues is I kept catching myself on fire and almost dying by touching that lava by just kind of walking around this. So, I just got the lava in, as you guys can see I have all the buckets still, and uh, stone slabs are pretty much done. And I'm going to give this thing a test. Now, hopefully, this works right, because I actually haven't tried it out yet, and I don't know how it's going to work, um, so I'm really hoping for the best here, and if it doesn't work, then I have to actually figure out how to fix it, which, oh, I really hope it works, <laughs> I'll just say that much, because it has been a long, long day. So, if this thing works, then I will then show you guys how it works um, kind of step by step, so you guys can try to build it yourself if you want to. Um, for me, I'm I'm not really a very big tutorial person. Um, I like to do it myself and then kind of check it online to see if there's a faster way to do it. But that being done and said, it should have a little bit of a warm up time. And um, okay, everything looks to be okay. And I believe my little setup thing down here. I, I might be able to show you that, that real quick. It's it's a uh, it's a clock I made forever ago. Um, that basically you have a lever that opens up, adds a little impulse, goes in here, and goes around every twenty eight ticks. I believe it um, actually sends an impulse, which is great, and that is what this whole thing is run around. So all do said and done. Let's hit this button. Get up here. And see if it works. Ho ho! I think it works, but I can't see anything. <laughs> no, I didn't think of that part. So I mean, it's kind of working. Not working, not working as well as I hoped it would. But let's see if I can get above it a little bit better. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, so. Basically what this is doing is this is duplicating the TNT and dropping in here, which then every couple of pulses, as you can see, it is just refilling it back up with stone, which then blows up and adds more uh, of effect here. I was going to make it more than one, but it's kind of a little bit slow. The thing is, I don't need a lot of cobblestone, so I just kind of wanted to see if I can make this work. And it looks to be working just fine. The only issue I am having, though, is you can see down below that if it falls through that perfect hole right there, it actually doesn't really blow up the stone. It just blows up the water, which then doesn't really work that well. Um, but... 
Outside of that, it's doing really well. Oh, I have obsidian. That's that's actually what I needed. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to... What? How did that work? Okay, whatever. I'm going to go into the middle here. Into the middle. Boop. I don't really want to catch myself in fire, so... Let's see here. So if I do this right, the middle should be somewhere in here. One, two, three. I'm just going to kind of work my ways on the side and see if I can't figure out where the middle is. That looks like the middle to me. Okay, so if I put an obsidian here, it should then blast radius around here. Okay. It drops down there. It, oh, that's working way better than before. And... It's hitting only obsidian, it looks like. It's going up by two, go three. I mean, if I left it running for a long time, it would definitely work very, very well. There is a way I could make this better, I'm sure, but it would involve a lot more uh, cobblestone generators, and I'm not sure how I would do that, because right now I have about uh, 20 of them going, but they aren't the fastest ones, so I probably could find a way to fix it up. Yeah, I mean, it's it's semi-okay. I could definitely do better in some way, shape, and or form, but that is that for now. Now, I'm sure you guys are probably wondering how on earth I made this, and uh, because of that, I wanted to actually do a little demonstration on how this works. Um, so I'm going to turn that off. Come over here, and I'm going to see if I can remember how to do it. Uh, I'm going to go over to the survival, the, not the survival, I'm going to go over to a creative world to show you guys how to do this real quick, because this is, I don't have any TNT, and I don't really feel like, uh, going and getting some right now, so I will be right back. Alright, so here we are in my kind of creative have fun world, and as you guys can see here, this is one of my favorite creations of all time, this is actually a solid stone generator, um, it uses one... Uh, I think lava block to make all the stone. And this is kind of just for looks. And this is something else I was doing. This computer thing. All that other good stuff. Anyways, as I said earlier, I was going to show you guys how the, um, what's it called, works. The uh, TNT thing worked. So what you got to do is you got to make this kind of U-shape first, all right? And this is essential. I don't really know why it has to be a U-shape, but that seems to be the way it works for me. So then after the U-shape, then what you want to do is you want to put your TNT right here and you want to have a piston facing in that direction. It's got to be sticky piston though, um, right there. Then what you want to do is you want to go and put this there, this here, this there, and this here. And then you want to break this one and this one. And then you want to add one there. And the reason you do that is so that um, initially it doesn't work unless if you glitch out this kind of area. And the only way to glitch it out is if the sticky pistons, I mean not the sticky pistons, but the slime balls all get pushed into each other in such a way that the TNT gets activated but doesn't think it's activated at the same time. So every time you move it, it actually duplicates the TNT because it thinks it's both activated and not activated at the same time. And I feel like this is going to be bad news if I have it directly below the machine and it's not very far away. Okay, um, I'm going to do that. Boop. And then grab that again. Now, the next thing you got to do is you got to make some sort of like clock for it to work. Um, so what I do is I like to put this uh, like that and kind of build a star-shaped or I guess a... A weird looking, it's, I don't know what to call that. I guess a star shaped thing. And what you need is a, oh, I guess I don't have a comparator on me. You need a redstone comparator in order to make this work. And you have to be facing this way so that these V, this V kind of makes this. You have the two little things and then this. And you don't want to have that on. You want to make sure it's off. And then redstone, redstone, and redstone. Now, this is the base component of everything you need. After that, it's just a one-tick pulse that you need to come through, which is why I have a second uh, sticky piston. I, I, only, I didn't mean to have three on me. I only need two on me. And actually, if I count it through, I think it's ten slime, one sticky, uh, two sticky pistons, uh, one explosive TNT, I guess. Um, and then one, two, three... 
redstone, two repeaters, I believe, a button, a comparator, two detector rails, and a minecart. I believe that's all you really need. Anyways, back to what I was saying. What you need to do now is you need to hook this up to a one tick pulse, which um, simply enough could just be like this. I might be wrong on that. Anyways, uh, then you need to have this here, have that go there. And then I guess I'll just use a button as an explanation right now. What you do is you push the button. I guess I probably should put the button in the right place. And put redstone on top. What did I forget? Oh, I know what I forgot. Okay, uh, retry. Break those two, and then put that in there. And then I gotta put the detector rail here and here. Otherwise, this will not work. Minecart is in now. Now it is officially in. And it is not activated. And it won't think it's activated, but pretty soon. Now, it doesn't think it's activated right now. But at the same time, it thinks it's activated. So when you update this in any way, that explosive will activate. Now, if you put water next to this, this one itself will drop. So you don't want to do that. But instead, I move this whole cube thing, which makes it move and stay at the same time. Which then makes it duplicate. As you can see, that it just went down there to blow up. And there's one right here, which is really cool. Now, what I did in the survival world, there we go. And as you can see here, it drops one, it drops one, it drops one. And that's how you probably should have it all set up. And this will make a really great mining machine. Um, because down here, it just keeps blowing up. And it just keeps going. I don't know what the actual fall distance is before it blows up, but it's actually kind of cool. And as you can see, they, they break right before the next one gets down to it, which is great for a lot of things. Um, and that looks like, is that stone? Why is there stone underneath of... Whatever. Anyways. Oh, there, there's the bedrock. I'm about to say, this is really dropping. Now, this would be a great way to get to the bottom. Um... I just had this crazy idea, and I'm totally going to try it out. Okay, get rid of this. Get rid of this whole thing. For anyone who wants to do something crazy, I am going to make a world destruction device. Like that. And then put obsidian here. And then in front of this one, I got to go one. One, two. One, two. Dupe. Um, actually, need to do that. And then go TNT. TNT isn't spelled with a B. Boop, 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 no, boop, boop, okay, boop, okay, lots of boops, all right, and then get a rail going for me, and take one there, take one there, and then go, I need a cart, because that is also needed, and then I need one here, and then I need a redstone thing here, and a redstone thing here. And then if I do this, that. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh, it's a world destruction device! And you know what the coolest thing is? I didn't mean this, but. I can totally get inside. <laughs> oh, this is great! Dude! This is the worst idea ever. Okay, so for anyone who is still watching, this is uh, what happens when I accidentally find things out. And this is a this is a flying machine for anyone who doesn't know. This will infinitely just fly across the world. Could you imagine a bunch of these going? Oh, it's a good way to make a path, though. Anyways, uh, so thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you leave a double thumbs up down below if you like to see. And, uh, I gotta clean this whole thing up now. But, anyways, that was a lot of fun. I guess I should definitely do this more often. <laughs> anyways, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.